So today I went to buy the um, SanDisk SSD Plus. Uh, this is a 960 gigabyte. This one's another great one. Samsung 860 Evo and um, very fast 500 uh, gigabyte. And then I'm testing out the Crucial uh, 500 gigabyte SSD. This has pretty fast writing speeds and I think it's the least expensive between the three. I do have two other ones here that are the 840s, I think. I have another one back there. Those continue to fail with the test that I'm about to do. However, the one that never failed me from the beginning was the one that's on the screen. Uh, SanDisk Extreme Pro. I don't have it on me right now because I lent it to a friend. And basically the reason I'm doing this is to avoid recording on CFast 2.0 cards. Those things are expensive and they go out quick. So right now I'm using my 1DX Mark II. That's basically using CFast cards because I can't really pull this little trick off um, like I do with my Blackmagic Ursa camera. So let's start with a little test that I did and let's see what happens. All right. This is the 4.6, it's not, the, it's not the, uh, the Ursa Pro, but however, they should be the same thing when it comes down to recording on media. So here what I'm doing is I'm actually using this external hard drive case, SATA, right into uh, CFast card. So what that's doing, it's basically in stricken out the camera. I'm plugged in here and I'm powered through a USB uh, power. Now I've been told I can use cell phone battery chargers, um, I can use, you know, whatever. I have a USB uh, plug on this. This this is a pretty big brick and it will power the Ursa and everything else. Just for the test, I want to make sure that the USB power is not an issue in case of failures. For all the testing, I'm going to be doing ProRes 422 and the three that I said, HD, 1080, I'm going to do 2K at 16 by 9, I'm going to do Ultra UHD, and then 4.6K. Crucial, 500 gigabyte. I'm gonna go ahead and format it. The previous one was a little slow, the 840 Evo. Oh, it's a little quicker. All right, it's ready to go. And I'm gonna exit 1080 at 422, 60 FPS, just like that. 225 minutes, let's see what it, how it does. Damn it, and it crashes at seven seconds, roughly. Change it to, 2K. I'm also gonna say that the camera has the latest firmware update. Make sure that they, that it had that. Um, so let's go ahead and try that. It's crashing at about seven seconds. UHD at 60 frames per second, giving me 56, maybe 60 minutes. Let's go ahead and record that. And under five seconds. It's great. So that's the crucial. It crucially failed. Now the writing speeds on this one are a lot better. I'm gonna go, go ahead and put the specs up now. Let's see how much faster this formats. Oh, that's a lot quicker, okay. Instead of starting with 1080, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the hard ones. 422 or 4.6K at 30 frames. Let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so far the A60 is performing a lot better. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. I'm uh, almost 12, I'm 12 minutes in. I'm still recording on 30 frames at 4.6K, which is a very good uh, performance by the 860 Evo. I'm gonna say that's a pass. I'm gonna go ahead and try it raw at 4.6, lossless frame rate. I'm gonna push it to 60 FPS. It is a lot. I'm pushing a lot onto an SSD that's pretty inexpensive. Let's go ahead and do it and go. And it crashed. Damn. Seven seconds, uh, 44 uh, tenths of a second. All right. I'm going to go ahead and format the card just so it's a clean card. All right. And it's done. And I'm going to exit UHD. Uh, an hour, 60 frames on UHD. That's not, that's not bad. All right. Let's record. Okay. Well, it clearly performs uh, very well at one. Uh, it's still one minute and 25, 26 seconds. Uh, it's still going. I think it's going to be just fine. Uh, let me format one more time. That's 197 minutes in 2K. That's fantastic. A lot of people do shoot 2K. Again, this should not be a problem at 60 FPS. All right. Well, it's, 50, it's recording. It's good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop that. Let me go ahead and change the frame rate window sensor and then push this to let's do 120 frames. Big difference. But let's go ahead and do that in 2K. All right, I guess it's safe to say that the Evo passes at 120 frames on 2K. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it now. We can go back and do 1080, not raw, raw res. It can definitely do raw 
at 1080 at 60 frames. I'm sure of that. 1080, I get 225 minutes, 60 frames, ProRes 422. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and record at least 10 seconds of it because I know it's gonna ace that if it did 4.6K in ProRes 422. Yep, all right, so it will pass. Overall, amazing card. It's not gonna do raw for you, but it is at 4.6, but it is gonna do raw for you at UHD. It is gonna do it at 2, uh, 2K, and it is gonna do it at 1080 raw. Every other um, codec will definitely work. So this card is a very good card. I'm keeping it. SanDisk SSD plus 960 gigabyte format. Let's see how fast it is. It's slower than the Evo. Wow, it's a long time. All right, well, finally, that took a long time actually to format, which I don't mind about. ProRes 422, 4.6K, and let's go with it. And it crashed at 7 seconds and 26 tenths of a second. At 30 frames, this is not good. The EVO is looking really good right now. UHD, ProRes 422. So yeah, it did fail UHD. Um, yeah, I, I missed that part. Um, anyway, 2K, we're going to go to 2K at 60 frames. Record it. Wow. The storage is beautiful, I'll tell you that. If only it worked. All right, so it did fail UHD, and it looks like it does fail 2K as well. Let's just test out the 1080 at 60 FPS. Let's see what happens. All right, so it crashed at one minute and seven seconds. The Crucial failed miserably. SSD Plus, remember this is the SSD Plus compared to the one I own, the SSD uh, Extreme Pro. Uh, SSD Plus, they told me it was going to be just as good. Uh, it, it really failed. It, it did better than the Crucial, but still fails, and it's a little slow when it comes down to formatting or things like that. I'm very impressed with the Evo 860. The Evo 860 never failed until we got to 4.6K RAW at 60 frames. Uh, 30 frames it failed too, but I recorded a little more. Um, but it does do all your compressed video. It does do your... Uh, 4.6, your 4K, your 2K, your 1080, F, uh, 120 FPS. It does all of that. It does do 1080 raw. It does do 2K raw. But UHD, again, UHD, 4K, um, um, different ratios, it will do it in um, ProRes 422 HQ to proxy. So I'm very impressed with this one. Again, the reason I'm trying different drives is because of the price. The SanDisk, it's a great drive, um, but I wanted to see what my other options were. Uh, the Extreme Pro does run a little bit on a higher price, and I wanted to see where my other options were for, as far as pricing. What the 860 Evo did for me. It was an amazing, amazing drive. So I'm keeping this baby. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. That was the whole point of doing this, and hope, hopefully I can help you guys out in making those decisions. Well, thanks for watching. Peace.